How's it going, everybody? My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm the world's greatest living artist. Let's get this going, all right? Who's ready for a live? There we go. I've seen better days. I'll tell you that. I've been a little under the weather, just a little bit, but here we are. All right, let's do this. So I'm gonna paint a, a flower bouquet, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our flowers right here. Our glass. I start out by drawing it. Okay, I'm gonna put my glass right here. By the way, if you if you like this artwork, okay, if you like the artwork that I do, you're gonna love the works that I have available on my eBay shop. I have lots and lots of awesome paintings that start out at 99 cents. Believe it or not, uh, my auctions start out really, really low, and um, Sometimes I win, sometimes I lose. <laughs> Either way, I win because people, you know, get to take them and and cherish them. And to me, that's winning. Either way, um, you know. So, but I don't always win monetarily. Sometimes, sometimes I don't, and that's where uh, you, the collector, wins. You know. So. Go check them out when you get a chance. There, the link is in my profile, or if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll see a link I pinned below. So check it out. So this is how I'm going to start my flowers. The style of painting that I do is very loose, and I like it that way for many reasons. One of them is because the more loose I paint, the more I tend to find my... my uh, Sort of my swing, you know. Well, painting loose has something. So it's, it's a little, little bit of magic in there. Look at that. Painting loose has a little bit of magic. It, it allows for something else to pop up. This is very, it's very cool, man. Paint, painting loose is, is one of the coolest things for me, anyways. Look at that. How's it going, beautiful people? Let me start saying hi. Let me wave to you guys. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. And it's got all the qualities that I love, right? A loose painting really allows me to go beyond my, my own self, my own limitations. That's what loose painting is to me. Loose painting is is going beyond my own limitations, my own ideas. Look at that. Look at that. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to start playing. With those darker tones right here and our flowers or leaves. I want to make sure that I get them really dark so that almost black, right? So that. In contrast with the lighter flowers, they stand out. So it gives room for both to stand out, right? The darks and the and the whites to stand out. As I am juxtaposing. Them. Is that even is that even how you say that? I think so. I don't know. We're gonna say it today. Yeah. 
Look at that. Look at that. Isn't it wonderful? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go start painting around it right here. And I want the base <coughs> to have different, different tones happening. I don't just want it to have one tone. If you see, usually when, when you see a, a glass, they have so much reflection, it's got... I mean, it's reflecting the world, right? Some people say that it's, it's very difficult to paint glass, but I, I would say it's one of the easiest things to do because it's, it's reflecting everything. It's when things don't really hold light, I think that they're the most difficult. Things that don't hold light, they tend to be the most difficult to paint. But a glass, a glass is easy. A glass is reflecting the whole world. Water is easy too. It's reflecting the entire world. From one angle. The beauty about the glass is that it's doing it from different angles, right? There's so many different angles. I mean, it's, it's doing it all across. So you can't, you can't go wrong with glass. You just can't. <laughs> I love that. Richard says, always hear your wifey taping packages in the back. Yeah, we're always <laughs> always doing that. Every time I'm live, my wife is in the background taping, taping boxes. Well, she said she wanted to be with me, so... <laughs> She wants to ride. She's, she's, my, she's my ride or die. She's like, I'm going to ride with you. Look at that. Red art series. Tell me, say hi, doing a great job. Absolutely, Richard. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> and now I'm going to use a little bit of a, a purple here, but I'm going to I'm going to dilute it a little bit. Check it out. And just keep it simple, right? Like the whole thing is just simple. We, we try to keep it simple. One of the reasons I like to use these big brushes is because they keep it simple. Also, you know, there's the brush. When the brush is new, all the angles are working, right? All the angles of the brush are, are working. So it allows me to, to, to be precise and to be bold at the same time. This is why I prefer, I prefer to use new brushes. In all my paintings, I always carry new brushes. That's why I don't buy expensive brushes, because I, I, I rather use an inexpensive new brush than, a, than an expensive old one. As long as the bristles are strong. You know, the bristles are strong. This is why I like these brushes. The bristles are strong. As long as the bristles are strong, I, I'll, I'll use it like that. See, so no matter what you're, no matter what you're painting, um, the glass keeps reflecting, right? The glass keeps reflecting the world. So this is one of the tricks for glass. Always remember that whatever color you're using, it could be bouncing off of that. In a very particular area, you just kind of have to play around and find where it could be bouncing. 
you know, whatever color you use. If I use blue here, it could be bouncing. This is one of my trick, one, so one of my uh, trickeries. Someone said that, that I wasn't a painter, that all I did was trickery. <laughs> this was some, this was some years back in YouTube. Like all oh, your trickery, it's not even painting. So, check it out. Look at that. Ivana says, like what I see. Thank you so much. If you guys like this, again, you're going to love the artwork that I have available on my eBay shop. Go check it out when you get a chance. The link is in my profile here on Instagram. If you go to my, my home page, my, my profile page, you'll see a link right up there. It'll take you straight to my eBay shop. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm going to link, I'm going to, I'm going to pin a link in the comments. And if you're watching this on YouTube and you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're thinking. Uh, I'm going to start getting salty. I'm, I'm, I'm very different than the other YouTubers. The other YouTubers is like, if you like this, please subscribe. No, I'm getting salty. Okay? I'm getting salty if you don't subscribe. <laughs> My jam's different. Okay? My jam is different. If, if, uh, if, if you don't subscribe, I'm not going to be like, well, you know, subscribe when you get a chance. I'm going to start getting salty. I know who doesn't subscribe. Somehow. <laughs> so there it is, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the love. Here, let me do a little close-up where you guys can see it. Look at that. Look at the flowers. Base. Flowers. Little flower bouquet. With the glass. Look at that glass. And then we give it space and then maybe it comes it comes together. You know. Always when you give it space. When you give when you give a, an impressionistic or expressionist painting, if you give it space, meaning meaning distance, right? You give it space, all of a sudden it starts coming together and it sh it shows you what it is. It's in the space. It's funny because when we're painting them, we're painting them right in front of them, understanding that 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 the space is what's going to make it appear right so that's that's the beauty of this style all right guys take care take it easy talk to you soon bye, -bye.